Hello, Assalamu alaikum everyone. Today I'll talk about two terms we all hear a lot encryption and hashing. What are they actually? Well, let's see with an example. Let's say I want to send to my friend a message which I don't want anyone else to understand. Let's say the message is H E double L O W. Uh, no, H E double L O. Hello. Now, we will make our own encryption algorithm. Let's replace every letter in our message with a letter from two steps after it from the alphabet. So let's change H to I J H I J uh, and E F G and L M N L M N O P Q. Okay, our encryption is done. To everyone else, it will seem like some alien gibberish but to my friend um, it will be not like that because I have already told him how to interpret my message and he will be able to find the hidden meaning. Remember here encryption is applied on a data when you are planning to get your actual data back from the gibberish or as we call it the encrypted data. Now let's talk about hashing. Well um, hashing is done when you just want to confirm that some data is the data you are expecting but you don't need to get the whole data back. This is just like your fingerprint. From your fingerprint anyone can be sure that it is actually you but can't find out how you look like. Let's make our own hashing algorithm now. Let's say I have made a website where you can register with your name and password. I don't want to save your pass in my database, I'll just save the hash of your password. Let's say your password is 1684. Uh, my hashing algorithm is, um, I'll take the difference between the consecutive numbers and just save them. So for 1 and 6, the difference is 6 minus 1, 5. Six and between 6 and 8, the difference is uh, 2. Between 8 and 4, the difference is uh, 4. So I'll just say 5 to 4 in my database. Next time you enter your password, I'll generate the hash of it and compare it with the hash saved in my database. So if next time you enter, instead of 1684, if you enter 1584, uh, when I generate the hash, the hash will be four three four which is not obviously which is not five to four and so you don't match with the hash of your password and you won't be able to enter into my website well as you can see my hashing algorithm isn't that good because for example one two three four and five uh, six seven eight is gonna have the same hash uh, that will be one one and one a good hashing algorithm will generate different hash for every single thing on the earth. Just like your fingerprint, no two person has the same. I mean, no two person on the earth has the same fingerprint. Up until very recently, SHA1 or SHA1 was a pretty popular hashing algorithm. It was designed by none other than the NSA itself. But this year, Google, the tech giant Google, was able to break it down. In short, they used brute force and generated two different files for which the SHA-1 hash was the same. It wasn't easy though. Engineers from Google said it will take approximately 6,500 6, years for a single core computer to break it down. But still, it is no, not dependable anymore for it got compromised once. You will see there are some websites uh, in the internet who claim that they are gonna reproduce your data from the hash. Actually, that is not possible because if it was possible, then all the hashing algorithms would be the best compression algorithm in the world because with a 50 megabyte file, uh, let's say, you will generate a 32 character hash. If you could get the 50 megabyte file back from the 32 kilobyte, 32 character hash, how it, it will be awesome. I mean, it will be magical. Well, but magics don't happen in real life, do they? 
and uh, you know in many websites when you forget their password and you click on forgot password they send you instead of sending you the your old password they send you a link if you click on that you can you get to reset your password why don't they just send you the password because it's because of hashing they don't save your password they just save the hash of your password so when you forget the password they cannot send they cannot send you that they don't, themselves don't have it that's it for today hope to get back with more videos on this topic with deeper things obviously